Hello, I'm Tom Lodziak and welcome to episode five of Table Tennis at Home. Like many of you around the world, currently stuck inside because of the coronavirus outbreak. So trying to find ways that we can still play table tennis and still stay active whilst confined to the home. In this episode, we're gonna focus on shadow play. This is where you're practicing the strokes and the movement of table tennis but without hitting any table tennis balls. And by doing this, you're reinforcing in your brain, you're creating the pathways in your brain for how a stroke should feel, where it should start from, where it should finish. And this can be really useful when you do go back to the table and then you try out your shots for real. I once had a player who I coached who, um, he, he'd come to see me once a month and we'd spend a couple of hours together, but that was the only time that he would play table tennis. He didn't have an opportunity to play table tennis other, um, other than with me. But in between our coaching sessions, he spent a lot of time shadowing the shots that I'd been teaching him. So in his room, he'd been practicing his forehand strokes, practicing his backhand strokes. And then when he came back to see me in a month's time, you know, I was always amazed by actually how quickly he was improving um, without actually playing table tennis. And what he was doing with all this shadow play, he was just in his mind creating these pathways about how the motion of the shot should be. And then when he actually came to hitting the ball, actually he found it much easier and it was a much quicker learning process. So shadow practice can be a really useful tool to add into your table tennis practice. There are loads of options you can do with shadow play. I mean, essentially you can, you can do absolutely anything you want. Any table tennis shot, any sequence of shots, um, any serve, anything you can do as shadow practice, okay? So it's limitless really what you can do. Um, what I'm gonna show you now is just a few examples of um, some shadow practice that you can do just to get you started. In this exercise, we're gonna play a forehand from two positions on the table. So forehand from the forehand corner, sidestep, forehand from the middle of the table. Okay, so you're in your ready position, feet shoulder width apart, and forehand, 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 forehand. And what we're looking to do here is to keep our feet shoulder width apart as we're moving, getting a nice rotation as we play these forehands, trying to transfer your weight through the shot. You can do all these exercises for 30 to 60 seconds, whatever feels right for you. In this exercise, we're gonna play a backhand from the backhand corner, then we're gonna pivot, and then play a forehand from the backhand corner. Okay, nice and simple. So backhand, forehand, backhand, forehand. Again, when we play this forehand, trying to give ourselves enough space in the backhand corner to be able to get a strong forehand shot on the table. Trying to get, again, nice rotation, so you can play that forehand attack. You could do more complex footwork patterns. So um, as an example, you might do backhand from the backhand corner, forehand from the middle, backhand from the backhand corner, forehand wide. Backhand, forehand, backhand, forehand. Again, trying to get your feet into a good position for all of the shots. For your forehands, trying to really get that nice waist rotation and really visualize yourself playing some good top spin shots as you're doing the exercises. Boom! You can add some um, in and out movement. So for this example, your opponent has served short to your forehand, you step in, forehand push. Then push is long, back to your forehand, forehand loop, okay? So push, loop, push, loop, push, loop, push, loop. Steam if you can stay nice and low as you do this exercise. Ooh. Loop. And you could also add a serve in. You could start a sequence with a serve. So for this one, I'm gonna start with a backspin serve. Nice bit of backspin. My opponent's gonna return with a push. I'm gonna loop the third ball. Got a really good heavy topspin on that loop. So the ball has come back high. And for the fifth ball, I'm gonna smash it away for a winner. Serve, recover, loop, smash. Serve, recover, loop, 
smash, serve, recover, loop, smash, yes. And as you can probably hear, I'm actually quite out of breath. When you do these exercises, actually it's a really good workout. Um, even just doing it for 10 minutes, you're gonna get a good sweat on. If you can do it for longer, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you know, and you're gonna feel like you've had a really, really good workout. So you can come up with your own routines, um, sequences and shots which are relevant to your game, shots that you like to play, or even trying out new techniques. So for me, for example, whilst I'm in lockdown, I'm gonna keep trying to work on my backhand loop. So this is something that I can do in the shadow practice. During April and May, I'm actually running some live um, workout sessions, similar to some of the things I've been showing you right here, um, where basically I'm going to lead you, instruct you through a 30 minute workout se session with some warm ups, lots of table tennis moves, and you get a really good workout whilst doing that. Um, if you want to sign up for any of those sessions, then please go to my website at tabletenniscoach.me.uk. Thank you very much for watching. I'll have um, another video coming soon and the kids will be back for that video. I know a lot of you find my children entertaining, so um, they will be back in the next video. So apologies that you've just had to see my ugly face for um, this particular video. Okay then, I will see you soon. Bye bye.